The assembly of the two structures required special attention regarding the correct alignment. There are no external datums on the rear fuselage. To align the fuselage to the cockpit, the rear fin spar needed to be temporarily fitted to establish a vertical datum. The cockpit section attached to its assembly jig was supported on four static legs to ensure a fixed and stable platform. Special attention being paid to jack and level the jig on both axial and longitudinal axis. A fixed height being set to enable the adjustable fuselage jig to be positioned. Some preliminary work required undertaking before the fuselage could be fitted. This consisted of drilling the frame 10 bulkhead for the electrical connections and the connections of the cockpit flight control rods to the adjustable sections of the rear flight control rods. The connecting joint between the cockpit and fuselage is in reality a slip joint with the fuselage sliding over the attachment flange of the cockpit frame 10 bulkhead. To provide the level of strength and rigidity required, the slip joint by necessity is a very tight fit, requiring a great deal of physical effort to affect the assembly. The joint being secured by match drilling the 132 peripheral holes through the fuselage skin and the frame 10 flange. Please keep a lookout for the next engineering update on the manufacture and construction of P7056. The next phase is focused on the build of the fin and the tailplane. The Whirlwind Fighter Project is a not-for-profit charity run by a dedicated group of volunteers. If you feel you can assist in the project's aim of creating a complete reproduction of this lost iconic World War II fighter, please visit our website and Facebook page for details. Also, visit our active partner and home of P7056, the Kent Battle of Britain Museum Trust at Hawkinge. Many thanks for watching.